The following tools are needed depending on which method is used. External jacking method. Internal jacking method. Start by checking the diameter with a diameter tape to ensure the pipe is within the correct tolerance range. Next, take the measurements across the pipe at 3 to 9 o'clock and 12 to 6 o'clock. Note the dimension and mark the pipe at the measurement locations. Compare the measurements at the 3 to 9 o'clock and 12 to 6 o'clock positions. If the measurements do not match, you can use one of the following methods to acquire the desired measurements. For the external rounding pipe method, rotate the pipe so that the largest measurement of the two is at the 12 to 6 o'clock position. Wrap the chain around the pipe and hook it. Jack the pipe until the 12 to 6 o'clock measurement matches the 3 to 9 o'clock measurement. For the internal jacking method, rotate the pipe so that the smallest measurement of the two is at the 12 to 6 o'clock position. Place the porta power and hydraulic cylinder inside and use the all thread to make adjustments within the pipe diameter. Jack the pipe until the 12 to 6 o'clock measurement matches the 3 to 9 o'clock measurement. Once the desired measurement is complete, leave the jack in place and insert the spigot end into the bell. Slide the MJ gland and gasket on the spigot and make the joint. Remove the jack after the joint is made. 